In this video, I created a Scratch game in only 30 minutes. Let's go. And so the time begins now. I'm gonna delete Scratchy. Hey, my little player. I'm going to make him green, because green means good. I'm gonna make him a little square like this, and I'm going to make him a bit rounded, just so he gets a bit more of a texture, and a bit of a cuter feel. Something like that looks perfect, but as you can see up here, it looks really wonky. So I'm gonna make an invisible box, putting all this to nothing, and then just centering it for fun. And now you can see that it's a lot less wonky. I'm gonna rename him to player. Name him to player. I'm gonna right-click duplicate, and I'm gonna make some eyeballs. And I'm gonna make them quite close together, and you'll see why in a second. I go like this, and I'm gonna get rid of these guys, and where's this dude? I'm gonna center him a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna scale the player up by like 200. Maybe I'll just do... God, the eyes aren't looking right. What the heck? I'll just do 150, and hopefully that works. I don't have time for this. Name him eyes, and I'm gonna go in here, and I'm gonna do a bit of coding, and I'll come back when I'm finished. Okay, now I've thought about it, and I'm just gonna remove the eyes completely. I had a cool idea, but it's just not gonna work. Now we're gonna make an enemy, and just because I feel like an enemy would be like something like a triangle, so I'm gonna make that. And enemies have to be red, so I may as well just make them red. And of course, finish it off with a box. I'm gonna change them to 150 to match the player. Name them enemy. Same with down there. Now, one group I click, I'm going to go to zero, 00, and I'm also going to broadcast the message start, so it'll be easier later on. When I actually get that when I receive start, and when I receive start, it's going to do all that. And when I, if I click, I'm gonna broadcast start. I'm gonna get rid of all this because it doesn't actually matter at this point so i don't need to make any clones and i just wasted jesus six minutes okay come on okay so now i'm gonna make some movement player x player y and i'm going to when i receive start wherever if e w i'm going to change y by four and also when i start wherever set y to times y 0.98 something like that and change y by player y oh, and also have myself hide i don't know why Bruh. so now i have some smooth ish movement i'm gonna set that to two because it seems quite fast right click duplicate negative two and now s there we go. I'm going to hide the variables and look at this smooth movement as we like it. But I also need to set player y to zero and I'm going to do the exact same thing for the x because we obviously need to move horizontally. Right click duplicate, right click player x, player x, right click player x. I'm going to set that like that and that and that just to make it even. So I'm going to go over here, change this to x, change this to x, make it a. I think it's a. No, wrong way. This one has to be d. This one has to be a. So now we should have some full smooth movement. And I'm going to change it to 0 0.9 because 0 0.98 is way too slippery. Now I'm going to set the player x to zero and now with the movement done we can move on to the enemy we're going to when you start go to zero we're going to set the y to 300 pick random negative 150 to 150 so now as we can see up here she's going to go to anywhere from negative 150 to 150 pretty simple but i'm also only going to do this when round start and so i'm going to do repeat until or until touching player or we're going to have a bullet here so you know we'll just wait for that point toward player and move i'm actually going to make this smooth so for this part only i actually have a better idea what if I just drag this in here? Yeah, then I can rename them to enemy X and enemy Y. So that's going to make everything a lot easier. I'm actually not entirely sure if this is going to work, so this could be a bust. No, this is literally not going to work. What am I doing? And I'm just going to make him move three steps. So if we go up here, he is not moving. What the heck? Oh, because Ryan doesn't start. I'm actually dumb. Okay, so now I do that. And I have to rotate him because he looks stupid this way. I'm also going to make him smaller because he seems a bit too gigantic for the player. And I'm also going to put this into a repeat until loop. So now if he touches me, he's just going to go back. Very simple mechanic of the game. So now I'm going to make a pew pew. As we can see, this is quite a detailed pew pew. Don't judge it. It's doing its job. And so I'm going to name it pew pew. And I'm going to do when I receive start wherever go to player. As we can see, he's just like, you know, strolling around there. Pretty cool. But I'm also going to have to change him to 150 because he does need to be bigger. And I'm also going to make him point towards mouse pointer. So now, as we can see, we have a pew pew on our player. And our player looks kind of weird. So I'm just going to make him have two dots for eyes. Something like that's pretty okay. So now we have a gun, but we don't have anything to shoot him with. So I'm going to make a bullet. And this is what the bullet's going to look like. Name it bullet name a bullet and we only have like 60 minutes left so we gotta hurry when round start repeat until make a sprite for all sprites shoot state and if equals shoot state shoot then i'm just gonna make it move 10 steps and just wait a minute when key space set shoot state to shoot but when we start i'm gonna set shoot state to no i guess just anything i'm also gonna have to make him have a repeat until i'm gonna get rid of that i actually kind of messed it up i'll just be back when it's done Okay, so I basically changed like all the code and this is what's looking like pretty cool. And now we only have basically 10 minutes on the clock. So let's make the enemy die. So now I should probably make a score. And now I'm going to change score by one. And in the player, I'm going to set score to zero. And now it should be working. And yep, it works perfectly fine. And now I'm just gonna make the player die. So now I have it pretty done. And now I'm gonna remake a little bit of the characters because they're looking kind of ugly. Sorry, little man. Okay, now that I have like only like three minutes left, I have to make the game harder. So I'm going to have to make clones. Okay, now we have five, four, three, two, one. Now we're done. Okay, and this is the final result.
Okay, there's many bugs, but yeah, 30 minutes. You're welcome. Let me know if you think I should fix this game up. Oh, well, I'll see you in the next one. And by the way, this is not getting published because this is terrible. All right, I'll see you later.